Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now in this lesson we're going to be reviewing quantity takeoff criteria and report settings in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise you'll review the options that are available for quantity takeoff criteria and reports. The quantity takeoff report settings include the default quantity takeoff criteria used to create material lists and default styles for tables. The quantity takeoff criteria includes a list of materials that specifies the surfaces and shapes from which you want to generate volume information. Let's start by reviewing quantity takeoff settings. Go ahead and open up your Earthworks one drawing in your tutorials folder. Now when the drawing opens, you'll see three different viewports. Let's start by first going into our tool space and then clicking on the settings tab. Go ahead and expand the quantity takeoff. And then under the commands collection, double click on the generate quantities report. You'll see within this dialog box we have a list of settings in here that you can go ahead and browse through but don't change anything. Once you're finished looking at these settings, you can go ahead and click Cancel. Now let's examine the quantity takeoff criteria. Go ahead and go back into your Settings tab, and then under Quantity Takeoff, we'll expand the quantity takeoff criteria. Now there are three styles defined in this collection. Double click on Earthworks. Now go ahead and click on the Material List tab. Now this tab contains a predefined table for calculating earthworks, such as cut and fill, by comparing the datum surface layer to an existing ground surface layer. Go ahead and expand the earthworks table. You'll use the earthworks criteria in the next exercise to calculate the quantity takeoff. Notice that the condition for the EG surface is set to base, while the condition of the datum surface is set to compare. This indicates that the material is going to be fill when the datum is above EG and cut when datum is below EG. Also note that there are three factor columns within this table. The cut factor is typically used as an expansion factor for excavated material. It's usually one or higher. The fill factor is typically used as a compaction factor for fill material. It's usually one or higher. The refill factor indicates what percentage of cut material can be reused as fill. It should be one or lower. Go ahead and click Cancel. So that's how you go about reviewing quantity takeoff criteria and report settings in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.